Hello Prime Coders, welcome back to Prime Coding channel. So yes, today we have a guest, Nayan, who cracked TCS one of the roles. Okay, so let it be curiosity will filled inside your mind because we will be asking Nayan itself which role he cracked and we'll talk about his journey. So Nayan, welcome to Prime Coding platform. Please share your journey like when TCS and QT examination has happened to you. Nadia. Done my engineering from Institute of Engineering Management and I have recently cracked TCS digital offer. I am into DSC and web development. Okay, cool. So thanks for letting us know that you are already been into DSA and Web D. So we'll asking you questions like can you tell like when TCS and QT test uh, conducted for you? Uh, it was around November. Okay. It was around November. Cool. So what was your preparation time? Like how much time you took to prepare for this NQT examination? Because it might be your peers and your juniors would be watching this video and they want to know that how they can prepare for their upcoming exam. So can you tell us the thing like what was the resources and how was your plan to work on every day to secure a good marks or I can say percentile in TCS and QT exam? Uh, I have... I am into DSA from second year only and uh, for NQT I, uh, I know that we have to do aptitude so from uh, about four months ago I have started uh, aptitude. Okay so four months before your test you started your NQT uh, aptitude, aptitude practice. Aptitude practice yes. Okay cool as you are already into uh, DSA so your programming is not uh, that problem, isn't it? Because I believe in DCS and QT, there are fairly good questions that usually comes, isn't it? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. cool, cool. So do you want to say any resource that you use to prepare for your aptitude exam? Uh, from DSA, I, I've used Striver, uh, Striver SD sheet. And uh, for aptitude, I've used, I also used Prime Coding uh, aptitude uh, stuff also. Okay, and, uh, okay, okay. Other stuff also. Okay, cool. So do you think this is a good question that most of the people want to know that to prepare for aptitude or coding or something, do we need to have, uh, do YouTube is uh, enough for preparing for it? Otherwise, what other resources that you want to go? I think so. You can search our, the syllabus from, uh, as, uh, you know, that every exam is syllabus, you can search the syllabus topics on YouTube also. You can study by YouTube. I have studied on, almost from YouTube. Okay, cool. So we can say that YouTube is totally enough for cracking TCS and QT syllabus, isn't it? Although yes. we always post what all topics are important on the channel, like yes, in aptitude, you need to study this, this, this. And we also created some one shot video on it, which covers most of the time, most important questions. Okay, that is the part. Okay, so uh, after your NQT exam, or I, can you share the details of your NQT exam? How was your programming questions? I believe if you appear in the November, October shift, the coding question was not that a uh, hard level, I believe. Yes. It is around kind of array string, isn't it? Uh, I, I will say, I will rate it from easy to medium. Okay, cool. So can you let us know about the difficulty level of your aptitude or the approx question which you have marked correct? Uh, that's it's too difficult to say. How I can know how much question I have done correct. Uh, it's uh -huh. it's around like okay, approx fifty percent question. I would be hundred percent sure that yes, it was marked correct. Yeah, 50, sir, sixty percent. Sixty percent will be correct. Sixty percent will be correct. Okay, for sixty percent, you mark all of the questions correct, and in programming question, both of the question was solved fully. Yes, yes, yes. Full test is passed. Okay, cool. So, uh, what was the result? Like sixty percent and two programming question. I believe you should might you might have got the prime role. For the interview. Yes, uh, for the prime role, but they have degraded my offer. Okay, cool. So uh, let's begin. Like before to your interview, you have the mail that yes, you are shortlisted for prime interview. So how was your strategy for that particular days? Like what you started doing? Because there can be many questions. What about TCS? And it can be about your core subjects, your resume, your programming skills. So how you manage to study all of these in the good amount or I can say less amount of time? Uh, I have used GFG interview experience for TCS only because yeah, 
we can uh, use that platform for your interview experiences how which type of questions are asked and what questions they will ask so i've used that platform for interview experience okay cool okay cool so you just watch interview experiences and you are done yes okay cool so you don't need like ha- what you have studied in the core you have not revised the core concepts or you already aware of those no actually i've la- i have uh, done my course on uh, on 2 uh, 3 months ago only because i have command on that i okay, have revised cool, many cool. times okay fantastic then that's why you are revising the interview experiences yes, yes, before yes, yes. your interview so it might be that you you gone through tons of interview experiences in that particular time uh, duration isn't it it kind of youtube it kind of gfg anywhere you are getting it you are st- straight away watching those yes okay cool so let's begin on your interview now okay so can you tell me right after your uh, email declaration that you got shortlisted in prime and how much like the approx time how much time it took for you to get the interview date uh i will say approx 25 days okay cool so approx 25 i can say a month so yeah. um can you tell me after like in your interview how was your uh, difficulty level and what is the duration of your interview and what kind of questions they asked to you uh at the interview duration will be around 30 minutes and they ask cool. me a dsa question uh, on link list okay so a dsa question which is a link list yes okay so they only ask about link list or which kind of question it was in link they list they asked uh, about recent uh, technologies as like ml and blockchain and uh, something related to my projects also Okay, cool. So let me deep dive into your interview experience. So can you tell us about what question you got in link list? Like right? there are many patterns in the link list. So which uh, pattern you got? I have I have got that uh, insert and delete a uh, middle of the link list. I like that question. I think so. Okay, so insert and delete the middle of the link list, yes. isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I got your point. And rest of the things are from your resume. and yeah. our trending technology which is machine learning isn't machine it machine learning blockchain and this type of technologies okay cool so uh, can you tell us like from your resume how much time they spend on your resume so actually i have uh, uh, when they start my interview i have uh, and they told me to give my introduction i have uh, told them i am i have strong point in dss so they asked mostly from dss only because i have told that in my introduction only Okay, so in your interview, only one DSA question was asked, like link list, or other theoretical question was also asked. Uh, no, the questions were asked on uh, CNN, uh, computer networks, CN, and uh, like switch okay, and hub, cool. and uh, I think so. They asked me about, they asked also me about uh, the TCP and O. What to say? We use broadcasting. Hi, UDP, UDP. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. So I believe your interview experience was so bad, and you started fading up the memories. Okay. Yes. Cool. Yes. Not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. Or not a problem. So I can uh, summarize. It can be from one DSA question from link list. Then in that link list, you got insert and delete middle of the link list. Then after that, CN question, TCP, UDP, or I can say the basic questions of uh, computer networks. Computer then networks. they move towards. Uh, they asked they me about your resume. Resume and uh, they asked me of some technologies or uh, term points on uh, ML and blockchain. But I have told them I'm not familiar to these technologies. so they don't don't get deep dive into that notice okay 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 so can you tell us about brief like what kind of projects you have in your resume and on that how many questions like you just need to generalize the questions you don't need to say about the full in detail you can just say i was having a machine learning and this was the question which was popped in the interview uh, i have basic uh, chat gpt api project 
okay so um, you have not given more of the areas to ask you just use the chat gpt to get uh, the details on your website okay but it, it is cool not uh, not a bad project i would say uh, intelligent project so um can you tell like okay so in this 30 minutes i can say that 10 to 15 minutes will straight away gone in the linkless implementation and yes. rest of the 15 minutes some basic questions around your uh, machine learning around your projects and around the hr questions yes uh, they in hr they uh, check my grades and uh, uh, ask me about my relocation okay so only two questions yes hr was not not too long mostly technical they asked me technical questions okay so how many panelists three panelists so how many panelists were there in your okay three okay. great three. so okay okay cool so can you tell like in this whole 30 minutes what was the thing which is going on like you have prime okay and what would be the reason that they demoted you to the digital do you know or do you contradicted yourself on some topics i have prepared myself fully i will i will i must not say here but it is full fully luck fully luck based yeah yeah, that is the point that I, I will definitely want to say to everyone that whatever roles that you got, it is fantastic that you are preparing for those roles. But sometime your luck also need to favor you, isn't it? Yes. If it is not with you, uh, then the tons of efforts that you are pushing up, there are very less chances that you will end up having that particular role. You might can have digital or in the worst case, you may land on ninja role because okay. they already have set of people like they want to hire 20 or 30 prime from the center and 100 for digital and 200 for ninja. If they reach that certain number, then they may fix you somewhere where the vacancy is there for them. I yes. heard this kind of thing. So is that true, Nayan? Actually, it is true. And uh, 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 TCS is now hiring second batch for TCS inquiry and uh, I have done recently TCS internship and they have told that they will hire very less than amount of decision and time for this time. Okay. Okay. Because they so already as you appeared. Hired. Cool. So as you appeared for TCS and QT on campus, why have you tried for off campus? Uh, actually, you know that market conditions are too, too bad. No one is giving job right now. <laughs> Okay, 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 not a problem. It's just a question which I asked. Okay, so like, is anything like you already got placed in November, December, I believe in January, February, might have to get your results. So, yeah. what is the status of the joining? Do you have any updates? Uh, they told me that they will do joining on approx in month of July. Okay, in month of July. So mm -hmm. we can say that in October, September, you might get onboarded. Okay, yes. so uh, man, it was uh, nice talking to you. I will I will try to put your uh, LinkedIn ID on my description so that any of my viewers who want to ask you doubts, they can straight away reach out to you and they can ask doubts. Okay, so please help them. And I want to uh, just invite you for a line. Okay. Can you say something so that anyone who is preparing for this role, okay, it might be from prime digital or any, because you might have tons of friends who got shortlisted on three of the profiles mm -hmm. and you have some experience around it too. So any tips that you want to give, okay, if you have this interview, you can just straight away do, do, do this, do that. And you end up having that role. It's all DSA from Striver SD sheet and uh, do aptitude from uh, check the syllabus and search it using youtube youtube topics and practice the questions that's it. you can crack the decision and find offer cool but as per the teach now nowadays in off campus teachers have reached to the level that they ask graph dp so it is totally required to practice the high level programming questions yes. but i believe as per my experience okay so as per my experience in um, November and October shift, the question level was not that hard as compared to the off campus. Now, if you are gone through the questions which came in off campus, I was also shocked because it was to totally unexpected that graph and DP will come right away TCS and QT exams. If you don't mind, can I say something? Yeah, yeah, sure. 
uh, I have recently given TCS NQT for a uh, upgradation of, of offer, and they have asked a uh, sequence for the longest path in a graph. Okay. No one has done that question. Cool. So yeah, that's the point I want to say that TCS has changed the level this time in the off campus, and it was totally unexpected. And we are also updated with for the next wave so that we can prepare the students. And yes, if uh, try to go through the sheets which he told, and they are totally fa uh, fabulous because I also gone through that particular sheet as well as the resources are kind of very easy. The aptitude and the interview experiences can help you to land, isn't it? And it is totally enough. As per my experience and as Nayan told, and he already got shortlisted, so the weight, the word has the weight. So anything else that you want to add, Nayan? No, I think so. It, it is, if you do this, you will, you will crack offer, crack the uh, digital and prime offer in TCS. Okay, cool, cool. So thanks, Nayan. As you told about everything, like how you cracked in and your journey, what study, what not to, and uh, which resources you need to uh, see or observe so that you can nail the upcoming test or interviews. So yes, thanks Prime Coders for watching this video. Please go and connect with Nayan if you have any doubts and if you want to ask about the uh, experience, he will definitely help you out with it. And we'll meet you with a new video soon. Until then, have fun.